Hi! So today, I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. Uh, the makeup I do when I go out. Yeah. So the first thing that I use for my makeup is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. This one. Most of you know I am a retired makeup guru. <laughs> I need to clip the bang, sorry. Come on. So yeah, I am a retired makeup guru. I did makeup looks on Instagram for. And if you didn't know that, now you know. And this is like my first time filming a makeup video again. So it kind of feels weird because I've always wanted to move on from the whole makeup career that I had. I feel like I shouldn't be calling it a career, but it kind of was. Anyway, this is my makeup bag. I know it's a lot of makeup for like an everyday makeup thing. All of the makeup in this bag aren't like things I use. I mean, I just have like different varieties of like blushes. Like, I have like three blushes in here just, you know. They're like exactly the same shades, but like different vibes. So I prime. I prime using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the Elf Poreless Body Primer. I use this first. I don't know if I should be using this or this first. I'm really sorry that the cracking noise is so loud. I'm gonna try to talk louder than the, the noise that you're hearing right now. I'm sorry, this is the only way I can calm down my bunnies is let them play with their toys. Uh, next, this. I love this shit. I think this definitely does something to my makeup. Like, yeah, it helps my makeup stay on for longer. The next step I do is color correct. <laughs> They're so loud, I'm so sorry. I don't color correct all the time, but whenever I have like breakouts like this, I have to. So since this is red, I go for green and I take it wherever there is redness. I also have like scars here. Um, I would take the orangey one here. I use this brush to buff it out. This is the same brush I will use for the skin tint, that, which is the next step. Oh shit, not that. This is like expensive. This shouldn't happen. Anyway. Yes, now I'm using the Glossy Perfecting Skin Tint in the shade G10. This doesn't have like a lot of coverage, so if you think this is a lot, it's not at all. I love this, even though it comes out as nothing. I don't know. I don't know if it's good because it gives me the feeling that I'm an it girl whenever I use this. Or that it's just a really good product. But in my opinion, it's good. Next. I use the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade G8. Again, <laughs> it girl things. I put it under my eyes, where the pimples are, under my nose, and here, near the mouth. And I just blend. I don't do anything special anymore. I'm gonna use this brush again, and just blend everything together. As you can see, you can still see the scars here i don't really mind sometimes but if i do really want to go full coverage i take the Too faced born this way concealer and spot conceal where i need it moving on to powder i use the anastasia loose translucent powder and i just set everywhere really now i'm gonna bronze my face i use the physician's formula butter bronzer I bronze like how you would contour your face so and then crucial part nose contour I just make two lines and then I blend it into my brow bone next I do blush I use this this is the everyday blush for me this is the Kat Von D everlasting blush in fox glove this is the color but i just got this color pop blush in the shade let's dance and it's so cute look at the packaging i use this so if you're wondering what blush i use um on my instagram photos this is it but i'm just gonna try this one 
I just apply the blush on the apples of my cheeks. I drag it up. I also add on the button of my nose. I'm going to be using the color... <gasps> Shit. I'm using the ColourPop Cherish Pressed Powder Palette. It has like berry tones, I think. I'm going to take this shade. It's a brown taupey color. Taking this Glossier eyeshadow brush. Yes, did I emphasize it's from Glossier? Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> I'm an it girl. Just literally wash it all over my eyelid. And then I also try to blend it where I did the nose contour. And then I use this terracotta color. It's called Forever. Take the other side of the brush. And then I just pack it here. Yeah, I'm still taking that shade. And I put it here under... Say so hi. Hi. I okay. just kept my baby, okay? <laughs> Look. Bucci! Good night, ate. The next thing I do is take <laughs> the shade that fell off. Also take it in the inner corner like that. This is a new thing I've been doing. I take the shimmer under the bottom lash line. Ah, I know my makeup terms. Um, This is the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams palette. I'm just taking a brown eyeshadow shade. <coughs> Sorry, I'm really gassy. And then I just make a wing. Still taking the same brown eyeshadow. I do the fake egg yourself thing. Actually, I don't even know if it's considered an egg yourself trick, but this is how I do it. Taking the same brush, I drag it out like that. I don't like blend it into the like swoop of my eye, but I just make a straight line going out. I have this glitter eye thing, sh shadow crayon from e.l.f. It's just a shimmer and a stick and then I just wing it out there in between the wing and the bottom wing. I'll do a little here. Okay, now liquid eyeliner. This is one of my favorite eyeliners. Not necessarily because it lasts long. It does if you don't like rub your eyes of course. But I really like the brush. It's so fine. This is the Taviant liquid eyeliner. It's the shade Virago and just make my wing. Next, um, gel liner. This is also very important. I cannot skip this every time I do my eyeliner. I'm using the Anastasia Nervina Chroma Sticks. Just line it. Next, eyebrows. I use the Isian Co Brow Pencil Pro in the shade Ash and I fill the brows in. Just where the sparse areas are. After filling them in, I use the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Diesel. I think this is my favorite brow gel, I think. Because it really keeps my eyebrow hair up. Next, curl your lashes. This is the Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara Waterproof. So I apply the mascara on my lower lashes as well to create a better illusion for the egg yourself thing. And then I take the ColourPop highlighter in the shade Flexitarian and I put it on my nose bridge, cupid's bow, and in my inner corners. Last step, lips. Um, very crucial, important. This is the lip combo I use. So I use one or the other so this is the color pop lippy pencil in the color over the liner and then this is the anastasia beverly hills lip liner in dusty rose but i've been using this more frequently i don't know if i would say i overline my lips i think i just define it better or maybe it's the same thing as like overlining it i don't know here are the stars of the show this is my everyday lipstick this is the color red easy mats if I'm not mistaken. Lipstick in the shade Cool Down. You can leave it as is. I used to leave it as it is. But my new addition to the lip combo is the ColourPop lipstick. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. I think it's a lip velvet. I lost the packaging. But it's in the shade It's a Banger. Again, this is also inspired by the Korean Beauty. I just really like how it looks on me. So, I like it. I put it in the inner of the lip. Just blend it like that. That's it. Oh, last, last step. 
Satin Spray. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. This is the Makeup Look Vibes. Um, I'm gonna show you through my phone camera because I feel like it's not giving the justice it deserves. This is what it looks like on my phone. Maybe I should have filmed it on my iPhone, but this is it. <gasps> Look at the difference! Can you? See? I'm showing you the difference. The difference between my phone and this camera. I look so white washed in my camera, but here on my phone it looks good. Anyway, I'm gonna use the footage on my phone. If you like this video, please give it a like. Please. And then subscribe. Oh, and follow my Instagram. Casper Alta. Okay, see you next week. I love you. Hi. See you when I see you.